QMB 3200, welcome to our online course. My name is Dr. Weideman and I will be your professor for this course. Let's explore the My Courses course. From the course homepage shown below, shown here, you have several options from the top toolbar. We're going to start by clicking on Course Home, which is where we are. I will post weekly news items here on the left-hand side, and important upcoming uh, updates are shown here, and also the calendar items are shown that are coming up. Click on Course Content next. I also want to mention right below the news area, <clears throat> excuse me, is the um, access to my stat lab, which we'll get to in just a minute. Let's go to Course Content, and on the table of contents, you notice the syllabus is located at the top and you can navigate to different modules from the table of contents. We're going to take a look at Begin here, which contains several sub-modules. You'll need to look through all the materials in this module. Place close attention to the syllabus and the assignment schedule. I suggest you print, out, print this out to keep track of assignments and due dates. The syllabus quiz is required. You must earn 100% on at least one attempt to unlock the course materials in my courses you have unlimited attempts on the quiz. The hardware and software requirements right here includes information on how to register in my stat lab and the Excel requirements for the course, which include the data analysis tool pack add-in and the Excel stat add-in. Excel help and tutorials area includes handouts and videos to introduce you to some of the basic concepts in Excel. I suggest you review this material in week one. And the last item are in this module are my courses tutorials and learner support. Turning to the table of contents, you will see the water cooler discussion forum where you can post questions to other students in the class. Statistic symbols is a summary of the various symbols that you'll see in the course. And then the course materials are organized by weeks. Each week is set up in the same fashion. Let's take a look at week one. So each unit module includes an introduction, review of what's covered, some instructions and action items. The first discussion item is located in this module, which is introduce yourself to the class. There are chapter notes, and which also include notes for the chapter and some also Excel homework tips for each chapter, PowerPoint resources, and then the Excel files that are used in the textbook for some of the examples in case you want to follow along with what they're doing on those examples. Returning to the top toolbar, let's click on the calendar. And all the due dates for the course assignments have been loaded into the calendar, so that will help you remember when things are coming. And this is critical. Make sure you've purchased the My Math Lab Access Kit and the Excel Stat Access Code. Read the materials again in that hardware and software area of the Begin Here module. And again, I mentioned this earlier, you're going to access My Stat Lab using the, what we call the Pearson widget on our course homepage on the left side all the way down the bottom. The first time you click on this, it will step you through how to get registered in our course. You'll enter your username and password if you've used the system before. If not, you'll create a username and password, and then you'll enter the code from the access kit that you purchased. And there is a video in the Begin Here module uh, in the My, My um, Math Lab Materials area that shows you um, how to get registered. And also mention um, on the page where you enter the access code, if you don't have the access code yet, there is usually down at the bottom right-hand corner, there'll be an area where you can get temporary access for 14 days without paying. Let's go to the My Stat Lab. So when you go click on My Stat Lab, I'm going to suggest you use this top bar to access the entire My Stat Lab course. So that way you have access to all the materials that we have in the course. Uh, on the first page, when you go in, there is a calendar, and the due dates for the assignments in my stat lab are listed on this calendar also. On the left toolbar, you've got the e-text co contents, which is, um, basically goes chapter by chapter, matching up with the weekly modules in my courses. Here's your assignments tab, uh, your grade book, um, there's stat crunch, which we're not going to use in the course, but you're certainly free to explore that. Uh, some video and resource library, accessible resources, and so forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead, let's just click on the e-contents for a second and just pick one of the chapters so you see what it looks like. So each chapter is broken down into sections. So if you click on chapter section 5.1, for instance, you can get to the entire e-text here. At the top of the chapter, you'll also have access to get to your homework and if there's any quizzes or tests, which I've not assigned in this course except for the final exam. And if we go back to the main menu, I want to go to the assignments. 
And on the assignments page are all these course assignments. And I've linked the stat, stat talk videos and also the Excel videos here. These are not graded, but you'll know where they are then in the event that you want to take a look at those. Um, here's the homework assignments. And your Excel projects are here also. And you notice that um, at the top of the screen here, you can sort here by chapter and then also by all assignments or simply just homework. And actually in this course, all your assignments are homework with the exception of the final exam, uh, which will be given at the end of the semester. And for the homework, as long as you work on the homework before the due date, you can go back later to improve your grade. And the three attempts though per question still applies. And this does not apply to the Excel projects. Uh, those are due by the due date. You get two attempts on those and you do get feedback after you submit your first attempt that will allow you to improve your project, go back and resubmit it, hopefully to get more points. Okay, let's pick a homework assignment and just want to remind you that on homework problems, depending on the problem, uh, there will be question help. And depending on what the problem is, you'll have different question helps. Help me solve it will help you solve this identical problem. It will count as one of your attempts. So you probably don't want to try that as a homework help. View an example will take you through a similar example, but when you get finished that, it will go back to the original problem. You can go to the section of the textbook where it's covered. Um, you can click on this to ask my instructor, which will send me an email with the exact question and you can tell me what you're having trouble with. Uh, but question help is available on all the questions on the homework. So I hope this short video helps to introduce you to our course and I look forward to working with you this semester.